Hello, seventh grade students. I hope you're ready for animations, flipbook with PowerPoint. This is the time where we get to put our storyboard to action. We're going to use PowerPoint to create our flipbook. And this is how we do it. As I go to my second slide, by the way, your title slide is going to be non-animated and what at all. It's just going to be a, a standard slide and this is the first slide that you saw when we opened up. I've already set the background for this slide and this just shows you that one of the ways in which we can um, do this is you can actually set the background in advance on your slide like I've done here. Or if you want to just use a plain white background and do a very basic animation you can also use that. It doesn't matter to me what you do. It's uh, totally up to you and your creativity. Uh, having a blank background doesn't give you a less grade. Uh, the, what I'm grading you on is your effort in producing an animation using these um, slides as a flip chart. You're going to be creating 120 of these things when it's all said and done, but let me show you some of the basics. First, once you click on the very first slide that's going to start your story, which is slide two here, not slide one, slide two, once you click on that, then I want you to do this very simple little thing. You're going to click on Animations tab, and then over here on Advanced Slide, we're going to select automatically after zero seconds. So we'll select that so that um, when we start the slideshow from slide one on, uh, it will start animating automatically. You'll see more about how that works in a minute, but go ahead and click this like this right now. Now I'm going to use the one with the picture background for my illustration. So as I do that, um, I'm going to add something in here. Now, if I want to use some of the shapes that are available through um, this little feature here, I can certainly use these shapes and animate those. Or if I want to create um, an animation using pictures of something, I can do that as well. For example, I could use a, a clip art, and if I wanted a man talking or a teacher, for example, I'd have to find just the right one, one that doesn't have a lot of other stuff in it, just the graphic of the person itself. And as you can see, I'm having a, a bit of a difficult time with that, struggling with it. But here's, here's a good example right here. Now understand that he's always going to be in this position right here, no matter what. But if I had him running one direction, isn't that cool? And look, I could turn him around too if I wanted to. So I've got some options with him that I can do. Um, and if I wanted to put somebody else in the picture as well, you know, I can keep scrolling down and maybe have this man here who's part of my picture plan as well. And so he's standing like this in the same field talking to this man. I don't know. It's just something I can do. So maybe this is uh, the scene I want to set up. And I want to picture this guy running in to this guy. So it might start off something like this where I have him just a little bit off the picture. You can see that it's going to show up here and on the slide it won't, uh, when we do the show, it won't show all of his body at first but he'll quickly be running in. And so what I might do here is then take this picture, right click on the slide and copy it. And then right underneath it, right click and paste it. Just like this. I want to make sure that I keep the source formatting so that all of the formats will be the same. Then I click on this guy because he's the one running in and I move him one click. That's all I did. I moved him with my right arrow. Then I right click and copy, right click and paste, once again keeping source formatting. And then I click on this again and move it in one more time. Then I come back over here, click on it, right click and copy, right click and paste keeping my formatting the same. And you may not have to do all that extra clicking over there with the format. Uh, if you started with the same format, it'll work. I messed up and tra <laughs> changed formats in the middle of it. So I move them again, come over here, right click, copy, right click, paste. Again, get the formatting correct. Click on this guy again. So you can see it's a tedious process. Right click, copy right click paste, click on this guy again, bring him in one more time. And so now if you want to see what this thing looks like, 
What I'm going to do, and what you will do on the very last slide, don't do it before then because you might be copying a bunch of slides that need to be um, done, but when you have finished, then you're going to right click on that last slide, or click on that last slide, go to animations, and you're going to turn off the advanced slide feature automatically after, and that way it's just going to go on uh, the mouse click. Now when I press F5, or when I click on slideshow from the beginning, this is what I'm going to get. You can see that I've got the animations flipbook with PowerPoint. And then when I click to the next slide, it'll move automatically. And you can see the guy moving right over here. And he stopped on the last slide because I told it don't advance anymore. And that's what you will do. So if you want to see what your animation looks like, it's okay if you want to use that last slide and, and take off the animation for it. But remember to turn it right back on again if you're going to continue. For example, I'm going to click on animations, click on advance again, and continue the process of copying and pasting. And I continue on. Does that make sense? I hope that it does. So, what at this time, what we're going to do is I want to um, show you real quick how to insert a uh, bubble. If you want them to talk, this is one of the things that you can do is you can add any of these callouts right here. And then within each of these callouts, you're able to double click on them and type text. Okay? And so he, all of a sudden, you can have text pop up. Now one of the things to remember is if you want people to read this, you're going to have to keep it open for a few slides. So I want you to imagine that about 12 slides go by per second. That's right, 12 slides per second. And as these 12 slides are going by, you want it, people to have enough time to read this. So this text with this bubble is going to have to be copied several times. And depending on how many seconds you want it available, you're going to have to run that many slides for it. Okay? And then if you don't want this guy to respond, you can certainly make him respond by using the callouts as well. It's under Insert, Shapes, and Callouts. And if you don't want this guy just thinking about something, uh, you can certainly do that too. And here's how you can sh change where the, the voice is coming from, or actually in this case, it's his thoughts. So let's come get it going from his head. And I can type in here something like So there you go. Hey, what are you doing? Stop. What an idiot. All right, so these are the things that you can do, okay? You can also use your scroll bar to see the animation like I'm doing right here. Hope that helps. Hope you have some fun with it. It will take some time to do, so be patient with it. Um, this pro this uh, project uh, will be due much later. This is just something to do to fill your time um, as you are um, going through the animation. Um, actually, I take that back. We do want to get this done no later than the end of next week. So uh, try to get it done before then. Hope you have fun. Enjoy it. Have a good day.